Hi bro. Today we talk about vehicle inputs. With vehicle inputs, you can paste your demand into the model. This is the simplest way. It is useful for small models when you don't have a lot of intersections, a lot of turns and any uh, route choice. So, mainly used with static routing. So the way it works is you hold on control and right click on a link and it automatically, automatically brings it to the start. You can see it with a, it's, it's shown with a little black line. When you click on it on the left you can see some basic settings. What you want to uh, check is the volume and the vehicle composition. So if I do and show the list. I can see that vehicle input here, there is a volume, here it is very important that you put the volume as vehicle per hour, even if your time interval is less than an hour. So let's do an example, let's put just maybe a thousand vehicles, and vehicle composition is basically the vehicle mix you use. That can be set up in traffic, vehicle compositions, by default you have already some setup. It is different which version you have, but basically you just create one by the add button. You name it as the way you want. Uh, vehicle input. And here you can add vehicle types to it and desired speed. So it is very important when you use vehicle inputs and vehicle compositions with it, the vehicle speed in which the vehicle will be loaded into the model that desired speed is coming from here. So if you want vehicles to get loaded by 50 km per hour speed, you need to set here in vehicle compositions that speed to 50. Let's put here um, trucks as well. I want them to go slower into the model. And the relative flow, which is basically a proportional split between the two. So it's one, one, that means 50, 50. But if I put, let's say, three here, 75% will be truck, 25% will be car. Let's just do it the other way around. Now, if you go back to vehicle input, a thousand vehicle per hour will be loaded into the model from my vehicle input. You can see here on the right side, there are more settings and you can change it you can add that screen by changing it here. So let's have a look what do we have here. There is a time interval. So we can create more time intervals if you want to load the model in 15 minutes. Let's do that. To load the model in 15 minutes, we need to create more time intervals. So you go to base data time interval. And here, don't make, don't make the mistake I always do. So instead of using area of behavioral types, you must set it to vehicle inputs first. And now you can start at the time periods. So this will be like from zero to 900, 900 simulation uh, seconds. So that is 15 minutes. Then from uh, the second quarter, the third quarter and up to an hour. So let me just delete the last one. So this will be our first hour. If I come back here, select the vehicle input, now you can see that there are those time intervals set up here or shown, which we set up before. This is a continued. That means whatever you change here, that will be the same for all. And here you can see that 300 is per hour, not for that 15 minute period. That's something important to know. So in total, you will have 300 vehicles loaded in this hour. If you want to change that, so if you want 300 in the end, but that more like profiled, so you have small, a little, uh, you have maybe like, I don't know, uh, in the first 15 minutes you have 50, then you have 100 in the next 15 uh, minutes, then in the third quarter you have, let's say, uh, another 100 and then you have 50. So let's set that up. So first, in the first hour, you will have 
50 vehicles, but it's an hour, so it needs to be 200. Because 200 per 4 is 50. Then 900 to 118. So 180. We want 100, so that's going to be 400 vehicles per hour. Then we also want 400 to have, so 100, 100 in that 15 minute, and the last 15 minute will be 200 again because it will be 50. So in total it will be 300 vehicles per hour. Volume type, stochastic or exact? Most authorities prefer to use exact. Then basically what happens is we assign assigns uh, a time, a random time, if you use exact for all those vehicles in that time period. So you should, if there is no congestion downstream or anything um, blocking vehicles to enter, like again congestion or, or whatever is going on, something holding or keeping vehicles here, or you just have too much uh, vehicle input and vehicle just can't, uh, there is no, not enough link capacity. Um, so with exact, you should have exactly the same uh, volume, so 300 in that hour or the 50 in that 15 minute. If you use stochastic, that's more randomized. You can end up, so it, it will give you a, vari a, a variability in that time period, and you might end up with a slightly different input. So if you want 300 vehicles, you might have in one run 295, the next one 307, and so on. But if you run it like a lot of times, if you like, if you run like 20 runs, you should have a very close to a 300 average. So just something to keep in mind. You probably want to go exact if uh, the store is ticket giving you a lot of variability. Okay. And again, you can just set the continuous like this if you want, if, if you don't want to uh, specify for each period. Let me put this by. So yeah, basically this is the way you can set these up. Thanks for watching.